Hello, first grade. I have a graphing activity to go with our M&M books. So we're going to start on the sorting chart. So I'm going to dump out all my M&Ms and then sort them into their circles. Now I had to change the purple into brown on this sheet because this is meant for Skittles, but I have M&Ms. You can use whatever you have. So I'm sorting the greens first, then the brown. Then I'll sort the yellow. Then the orange. Then the red. And oh no, I have a problem. I have some left over. So what you get to do if you're using M&Ms and you have blue ones, you get to eat those ones. So now that we have it sorted, you're gonna take a pencil or a pen on your chart and we're gonna count how many of each one we have. So let's count the reds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven red. Then let's count the yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six yellow. Let's count green, one, two, three, four. Then we'll count brown, one, two, three, four, five. And orange, one, two, three. So now we have our totals and all of our M&Ms sorted. So let's look at the next one we're gonna do. This is a picture graph. So we are going to make a graph that shows us how many of each M&M we have with pictures. So you're going to need the colors of your M&Ms for this one. We're going to start with red. So I'm going to look at the graph and then I look at how many red I have. I have seven. So I look over here. There's the seven. I go up to red. I'm going to draw a circle. So I know that's where I'm going to stop. And I'm going to draw all seven of them. All right, now let's count yellow. We had six yellow. Then we look over here at six. We go up to the yellow. And we draw six yellow. Now let's look at green. We had four green. So we're gonna find the four on up to green. And you draw that. The next one is brown. We look over here and we had five brown. So we see five and we draw one, two, three, four, five brown M&Ms. And last, we're gonna do orange. We had three orange. We're gonna look for the three and do one, two, three orange. Now we have some questions at the bottom. This one says, which color has the most? So can you look at this graph quickly and decide which one has the most? I think it's red, so we're gonna write red right there. Then which color has the least? So that's the smallest, I think that's orange. Then this one says, do you have more brown or orange. So are there more brown or orange? We can quickly tell that we have more brown, right? All right, let's look at this. Do you have less red or yellow? So let's look at red and yellow. Do we have less red or yellow? I can see that we have one more red, so we have less yellow. Nice job, we're gonna to move to the next graph. This graph is a bar graph. So instead of drawing pictures of M&Ms, we're gonna have some bars on here. So we're gonna do the same thing. Look at how many we had. We had seven red, so we see the seven. So you're gonna outline just like this to make a bar and then you can color it in. We're gonna do that with all the other colors. Next is yellow, and we had six. So we'll do this one. 
Then next is green. We see that we had four green. Next is brown. And we had five of the brown. And last is orange. We had three orange. So we go to the three, we make our bar, and color it in. So that is a bar graph. We have some questions at the bottom of this one. Which color has the most? Well, we can see again that red has the highest bar, right? And the least, we can see that orange is the smallest. Now, do we have more red or green? So let's look at red and green. Is there more of red or green? Well, I see that the red goes out farther, so I know we have more red. Do any of your M&Ms have the same amount? So are any of our bars equal? I don't think so, so that's no. Great, now we're gonna look at our last graph. We have a tally chart. So we're gonna make tally marks to say how many we have of each color. So again, we're gonna start with red. We had seven, so we're gonna make tallies. One, two, three, four, and then you cross for five, six, seven. And then over here where it says total, you write the number seven. Then we see we had six yellow. So one, two, three, four, five, six, we write a six. Then green, we had four. One, two, three, four. No cross for that one. Then brown, we had five. One, two, three, four, five. Last, we had three orange, so one, two, three, and a three over here. Now this one will help us quickly look at the number. So how many red? That was easy, seven, right? How many yellow? Six. How many green? Four. How many brown? Five. How many orange? Three. If you decide you wanna do these graphs at home, make sure you share them with me. Thanks.